The Via Ignatia was an ancient Roman road that stretched across an impressive distance between the Adriatic coast and Byzantium, modern-day Istanbul, on the Bosphorus Strait. Roman civilization is well known for its stunning mosaics and marble statues, but it was Rome's advanced network of roads that allowed this civilization to thrive for centuries. The Via Ignatia was the first highway to traverse the length of the Balkan Peninsula and the first road built outside of Italy by the Romans. The Via Ignatia was built between 146 and 120 BC by the Roman senator Gnaeus Ignatius, who named the road after himself. Ignatius became governor of the province of Macedonia shortly after it had been conquered by the Romans in 148 BC during the Fourth Macedonian War. The road was approximately 1,120 kilometers long although the easternmost portions of it may have been completed decades after Ignatius governed Macedonia. Parts of the Via Ignatia may have been built over an earlier military road between Illyria and Byzantium. The road would have been about 6 meters wide. The Romans used surveying tools and beacons like the Groma to ensure that their roads were straight and level. The route crossed mountains such as Candavia and must have posed significant challenges to Roman engineers. The Via Ignatia route connected several important cities in Illyria, northern Greece and Thrace. It would have been an important route for traders and the Roman legions in the region. At the westernmost end of the Via Ignatia was Dyrrhachium in Illyria, modern-day Albania. Together with the ancient city of Apollonia, Dyrrhachium was an important commercial hub along the Adriatic. The road connected prominent urban centers including Claudiana, Thessaloniki, Mancio Scampa, Lycnida, Nepolis, Kipsala, and Pella, the birthplace of Alexander the Great and former capital of the Kingdom of Macedon. At the eastern end of the Via Ignatia was the city of Byzantium. The already important road would have become an even more crucial route after 330 AD, when Emperor Constantine renamed the city after himself and pronounced Constantinople the capital of the Roman Empire. A triumphal arch called the Golden Gate was built in Constantinople where the Via Ignatia led into the city. Victorious Byzantine emperors would lead a triumphal procession along the road and past the Golden Gate into the city after successful military campaigns. The Via Ignatia dictated access to a number of important strategic locations. As a result, several battles were fought over control of the road. In 84 BC, the Roman general Sulla pursued the army of Mithridates VI Eupator along the Via Ignatia. Later, in 48 BC, Caesar defeated Pompey's legions and took control of the road at the Battle of Dyrrhachium. In yet another Roman civil war, Mark Anthony and Octavian fought the forces of Brutus and Cassius, who had fled Rome after assassinating Caesar. Paul the Apostle traveled along the Via Ignatia during his missionary journeys to Jerusalem. St. Paul preached in many cities connected by the road, including Thessaloniki, Philippi, and Lycnida.